Thomas Jefferson. You all know him? Yes, he's one of my favorite people, actually. I close out my book with a soliloquy from Thomas Jefferson. I actually end my book with it. Because Thomas Jefferson made a statement. Here's a man highly regarded in the United States. I mean, there are more statues of him than probably anybody. And he made a statement towards the end of his life. He says, indeed, I tremble for my country when I consider that God is just and that his justice cannot sleep forever. You see, it haunted him to his grave because Thomas Jefferson knew he knew what would happen. Matter of fact, he predicted exactly what we're dealing with today, what happened between people of African descent and those of European descent, predicted it. He was a bright man. How do you reconcile behaving in such a barbaric way? Well, let's see what he said. He said uh, blacks smelled bad and were physically unattractive. Well, this was inconsistent with his behavior because, you know, he fathered slaves, Sally Hemings. So it didn't smell that bad, huh? <laughs> now, here's a more important one. He said we required less sleep. Now, that one's more interesting to me. Why would he need to? What dissonance was he feeling that he would need to believe that blacks required less sleep? Why? What did he do? You know, he owned slaves. So what do you think? How hard do you think he worked them? What was the work day for a slave? Sunrise to sunset. But do you have any empirical evidence, Joy? Can you prove that? Because you know, can't, if, if you can't write, you know, count it and measure it, it didn't happen in European culture. Is that correct? You've got to count it and measure it. How many of you have measurable objectives? Measurable outcomes, you better measure it. I don't care if you tell them. Can you tell your boss, really, truly, at the end of the year, we're doing better now? I've been to work every single day I've watched, and I can guarantee you we're doing better. Is that going to fly? <laughs> that would be no. That means you have to count it and measure it. And if you didn't count and measure, it didn't happen. So when you start looking at the notion of requiring less sleep, that's an interesting thing, because I have to believe if I work you that hard, and boy, I, I got humbled when I found out how hard folks worked in the sugar plantations. Ooh wee, I got humbled by how hard folks in the Caribbean were worked. But what I decided to do is I looked at the Library of Congress. Most of my work over the nine years that it took to write the book, six years of that was research. The other part of it had to do with doing um, interviews of elders and reading slave narratives. And there are thousands of them. This is just one taken from the Library of Congress. Sarah Gudger from North Carolina wrote, never known nothing but work, never knew rest, felt like my back was going to break. This is the gospel truth. 